Alright. How you guys doing today? Today I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, cut and splice uh, Cat5 uh, unshielded twisted pair cable with using my uh, crimping tools and uh, here's your Cat5. Here's one side that's already cut and spliced. It has four pairs on the inside that are used to, to run the data and uh, keep an electric uh, current running through it. So here we go. Your, uh, you got a little small hole there that you uh, use to run your Cat5 cable through. Run it through and twist it around a little bit. And slide it off. I don't have a modular, I don't have a, uh, a, cat, a, a, uh, a modular plug right now, so I can't really exactly put the, the tip on, but we all know what a phone line cord looks like. But anyway, the way you're supposed to do it properly is you got to untwist your pairs. So, untwist your pairs so, so that your power plugs in properly into the correct jacks. There's an order to the uh, to the TIA 568, which is basically uh, telecommunication standards to hooking up uh, phone jacks and and, uh, and and data jacks for Cat5 cables. Um, the order that you have to plug them into the, to the modular plug which is basically the, the phone plug that's usually on the end of these cords is um, your, uh, your your blue which is here you plug your white blue in it's a light blue but they call it white blue your dark blue next which is basically a pair so the pairs go in order of blue orange, green, and brown. As you can see, there's the blue pair. Here's your orange pair. Right there, so I'll put them in place so you know how, how to look in order. Here's your green pair. And there's your brown pair. So, so basically, from left to right, that is the proper order on how to connect your your Cat5 cable, which is this cable that you see here with the blue shield over it, into your modular plug. Like I said, I don't have a modular plug at the moment, so I can't fully connect it. But um, when you do, the way you connect it is you 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 uh, you slide these uh these small uh cables together like so in order. Got to be real gentle and uh, you slide them into the plug and you use your your crimping tool it's, it's it has a multi-use to it you put it in the hole as you can see it's got this it has the size and shape of a of a phone jack uh, plug so this here has the size and shape of a phone jack plug and you put your phone jack plug in there Put it in the light a little bit. Can you see it more? Uh -huh. Alright, there goes the shape. And you plug it in with your modular plug on uh, attached to this Cat5 cable. And you push it down and it basically uh, squishes the, uh, the small cables into the uh, plug. And there you go. There you have it. There's, there's your plugs connected. And this is a Cat5 cable right here which is uh, mostly used for um, your internet. You probably see it on your router, on your internet router. These connect into your internet routers and um, the other side connects into your wall, uh, which, you, which we all have in our house. I don't, have, I don't have one close right now. My house is a little junky, but anyways, uh, one side connects into the wall and one side connects into the router or the desktop computer that you're using or anything that has a modular plug connection and uh, that's it that's how you crimp and splice a cat5 cable thank you